I am so excited to be talking with you today about the ways that you can create viral social media content without spending hours in 2021. So let's get started. First tip is marketing is all about the KLT factor. KLT stands for know, like, and trust. So a customer has to know who you are, they have to like who you are, and then they have to trust who you are before they will ever even purchase from you. So marketing is really at the foundation achieving that KLT factor for you and your business. That's its sole purpose. Social media is a great tool to achieve a KLT factor with your potential customers, especially when you're showcasing behind the scenes looks at, uh, you know, maybe you're at a photo shoot. Uh, you can show your day-to-day -day activities going from meeting to meeting. You can show your personal life. So many business owners are afraid of showing their personal lives in their business accounts. And really all it does is build that like and trust factor with your potential customers. So keeping in mind that you are wanting your customers to know who you are, like who you are, and trust who you are. So social media is a must. Second tip is we're gonna focus on consistency and clarity before anything else. Being consistent on social media is the most important thing you can be doing in 2021. Consistency looks different for everyone. Sometimes that can be one time a week, sometimes that can be one time a day. So whatever consistency looks like for you, that's what you need to stick with. And you need to be very clear in your messaging when you are being consistent and you are posting. So get back to the basics. Like what are the ways that customers can support you? How can they purchase from you? How can they join your email list? What do you want them to do next? Do you want them to send you a DM? Do you want them to just answer your poll for the day? What are the actions you want them to take and be very, very clear on what those are and what they need to do? Don't be afraid to repeat yourself either. So many people will think, oh, I posted about that sale that we're having last week. And even though it's still going on, I don't need to post about it again because they probably saw it last week. The algorithm shows only your post to 10% of your audience. And depending on how that 10% of the audience reacts, it will open it up to more and more. But don't assume that everyone that follows you saw that post. So many people just will not scroll the feed and maybe look at stories or vice versa. So always feel free to repeat yourself and repeat messages that are super important because not everyone has seen it. Number three, there is a simple three-step formula that you need to follow every time you are posting content. That is, you need to provide a hook, you need to provide support, and then you need to provide a call to action. So that hook is really what's gonna make them stop the scroll. It's gonna, it's gonna grab their attention and allow them to click them, read more and, and read more about your post. So that hook is really whatever you can provide that's going to grab their attention. The support is where you're going to add support, whether that means quotes or maybe that statistics, or it's just you explaining more about why you grabbed their attention in the first place. And the most important thing you can do is give them that call to action at the end. And that's the next step that you want them to take. You should always have a call to action. So that call to action can be simply as, you know, drop an emoji below if you agree, send me a DM if you want me to send you the link, go to my website, uh, share this post with a friend, save this post so you can remember it for later. There are tons of ways to provide a call to action, but make sure that you never leave that call to action out whenever you are making a post. Number four, you need to always optimize your posts. This is the thing that I see most business owners leaving on the table. Now don't get me wrong, hashtags and tags aren't going to move the needle as far as creating a piece of content and making it go viral, but they can definitely broaden the reach of that post. You have to have good content before it can go viral but you can definitely broaden the number of people that are seeing that post by adding hashtags to the post. You can add location tags, profile tags. You can do this in stories, in posts, in TikToks, in Reels, in LinkedIn, Twitter. There are 
Every platform and every post option has a way to optimize it. So making sure you're using all of those options available to you. Number five, don't wait for your community to show up for you, show up for them first. Now, there are a different, a couple different ways that you can really make sure that you are delivering content to your community and value. Um, I love saving uh, valuable Facebook groups into a folder on my desktop and going to those uh, Facebook groups every day and providing value, answering questions, giving suggestions, tips, um, offering the, the feedback that I would want somebody to offer me. I will do that on a daily basis. On top of that, I use a paid tool created by Gary V called $1.80, and it allows you to look at hashtags that are available um, to you within your industry, ones that you follow, ones that you're posting to, and you can look through those posts and leave comments and, uh, and, and share the love and share value in those posts very easily. So uh, both of those tactics would be ways of showing up to your community and, and giving out more than what you're expecting to be brought in um, because it, there, it definitely becomes a disconnect when um, you're always sharing content and expecting that to come back for you. So uh, those are five tips that I have for you to really be focused on when you are creating your social media content in 2021. You can check out my social media success shortcut kit that allows you to create content in as little as 30 minutes for the entire month and get back to the other more important things that you have in your business. So um, check that out at socialwithally.com and can't wait to talk with you all soon.